In this video, we're going to go over the difference between localized and delocalized electrons. And while this set of notes, notes 3.1, is not very long, you will need to know this for um, this entire unit. Recognizing localized and delocalized electrons are very important. So if we think about what these words mean, localized electrons, these are going to be electrons that cannot uh, participate in resonance. And delocalized electrons, these will be um, electrons that can participate in resonance. Uh, so how you might think about this is localized electrons, these cannot move, where delocalized electrons can move. Okay, um, so some important things. Heteroatoms are going to be our atoms that are not carbon and hydrogen and most of the time, they're going to have lone pairs of electrons. So if a heteroatom, such as nitrogen or oxygen, has multiple lone pairs, only one of those lone pairs can be delocalized, okay? The rest are localized. Additionally, if a heteroatom already has a double bond, then any remaining lone pairs have to be localized, okay? So pause the video, go ahead and practice drawing lone pairs on all of these, and then we're going to ask ourselves if they're localized or delocalized, okay? So pause the video, draw all the lone pairs on your heteroatoms. Okay, now um, I'm going to go through and I'm just going to ask myself, does this nitrogen have a double bond? No. So these are going to be delocalized, which uh, we will say D for delocalized, L for localized. Same thing here. These we'll say are delocalized for the purpose of this video, but they actually are too far away from resonance to actually move. But if they were close enough to resonance, they would move. Okay, same thing here, no double bonds, so we have delocalized, but like we highlighted above, we can only have one pair be delocalized. So that means when we have a second pair, they will be localized. With this oxygen, this guy already has a double bond, so because he already has a double bond, we have to be localized. So anytime, and I'm just kind of moving ahead, I see a double bond on an atom, these guys have to be localized. Okay, this guy can be delocalized, 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 but the second one has to be localized. It doesn't matter which one, when you have two, you're saying is localized or delocalized, just that one is Delocalized, delocalized, but localized, delocalized, but localized, and then this one will be delocalized, okay? So really looking at whether or not there's a double bond present is going to be very helpful to you. Now, one thing that you're going to learn is that even though this pair of electrons are delocalized, it's too far away from any double bond to actually resonate, okay? So it's delocalized, meaning that it could move, but it won't actually move.